What's up guys? I'm Candid Crandall and today I am talking about food allergy problems. For those of you who don't know, I have a bunch of food allergies. I'm allergic to peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, and fish in general. When you have food allergies, you always have to read the labels. I have gotten particularly good at label scanning. So whenever I'm at the grocery, the first thing I do before I put any food item in my cart, I just look. I'm a speed reader when it comes to those tiny fine print labels. If you need me to read one for you, I'm your girl. Food allergies can be particularly painful. When you're having an allergic reaction, like when your throat is swelling up, which hurts and is scary because you can't breathe. You also, in order to make that stop, have to stab yourself in the leg with a giant friggin' needle, just like, bam! You have to do that so that you can breathe, so it's like the lesser of two evils, and I don't really know who came up with that, but it kind of sucks. <laughs> When you have food allergies and you are dating someone, your food allergies become their food allergies. At this point, my boyfriend no longer eats shellfish or fish or peanuts or tree nuts because if he does, he knows that he has to essentially power wash his mouth with an electric toothbrush before I will be willing to let him kiss me for fear of an allergic reaction. That's a real thing. Yup. Whenever someone cooks something, you have to be that person who's always like, oh, what's in this? Before you even taste it, and they're like, oh, well, just taste it. And you, you can't just taste it. You have to ask what's in it. It's almost like you're critiquing their food before you've even tasted it, which comes off as extremely rude. Oh, what's in this food that you made for me? I'm gonna be really demanding right here and ask you to list off all the things. And if there's anything that you put in here that has components to it, I'm gonna need to know the ingredients in that as well. I'm annoying, I know. Having food allergies has given me some really bizarre fears. For example, when I see those silk almond milk commercials where they're at like a diner, they don't know that we've put silk vanilla in their cereal. Ah, how's it taste? How do you like it? Oh, it tastes better than real milk. <coughs> Ooh, allergic reaction right here, not really. Not really, that's not funny. I am constantly afraid that I am going to end up in one of those commercials where someone gives me a bowl of cereal or something and they're like, we used silk almond milk instead of milk, a surprise, and I'm gonna be like, surprise, time out. I need to get to a hospital because I'm dying. It is equivalent to watching a Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, commercial for me in that it just is terrifying and I hope that that never happens to me in my life. Let me know down in the comments if you have any food allergies and any crazy stories that you have about that. I would love to discuss them with you. If you don't already, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Blogspot, and Instagram. Username, Candid Crandall. I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday on my channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again on Thursday. Bye.